uh, exports to uh, so the exports mar export markets, large export markets have been under pressure. And we'll try and get more from the management in a bit. Our market master of the day is Gautam Shah, founder and chief strategist at Goldilocks Premium Research. Uh, Gautam, great to have you with us here on the program. Thank you very much. Within sort of uh, kissing distance of a new all-time high, Gautam, uh, and and uh, you know beyond, then it is. Uh, you know, blue skies and uncharted uh, waters in that sense. Just what three, three and a half, four percent away. How soon do we get there, or do you think before that, you know, one would have to wait a little bit, some consolidation possible? What's your sense? Uh, good morning, Prashant. Well, this kissing distance hasn't been uh, going so well for the last six months because we've attempted to get past this 18,000, 18,100 area multiple times, but we've always found some resistance. In fact, the market has stopped out around this level a couple of times this year. However, I think I want to take you back to a month back uh, because when the world markets were in very, very bad shape, you know, there were two scenarios. Scenario number one, wherein uh, India fell and moved in sync with the rest of the world, world equities, I mean. And scenario two was the world bottomed out and got back and got in sync with India. I think the latter has played out beautifully in the last two, two and a half weeks, given the kind of recovery that US markets have seen, some of the Asian indices have seen from the lows. And I think Indian markets, at this point, you know, the fact that since there are no topping out signs, the leadership has returned, VIX has collapsed, seasonally we are in a very positive period, banks have started to do well. I think there are just too many factors which suggest that this attempt should take the nifty past 18,100, which has been the big resistance. And once that gets confirmed on a closing basis, we should see new lifetime highs past 18,600. So I would remain bullish. And if you really go by the breadth data, the market is nowhere close to being overbought because the mid caps and small caps haven't really participated in the last two weeks. It's really been the large caps uh, led by what's happened, uh, you know, in, in world equities. So I would remain bullish, stay invested and use all dips to uh, top up. Okay, remain bullish, stay invested and top up on every dip. Uh, Gautam, uh, if you're bullish on this market, right, what are the kind of um, stocks that you see could outperform? If this October rally has more legs, uh, then where does the leadership emerge from? Well, the leadership is returning on an overall basis, you know, which is good to see because six weeks back, the problem was nothing was doing well. You know, Reliance was in a difficult space. IT index was not doing well. Banks had seen a very large correction from 41,000. And now all the three uh, major pockets of the Nifty have come back strongly. But clearly, it's all about the banks. I think the kind of outperformance that it's seen in the recent past and the fact that it's just one, one and a half percent away from lifetime high tells me that banks are going to lead the way even from here. So our working target near term would be about 41,800, which was the previous high. I think in this attempt, we will get past that number. And once that confirmation comes, uh, we should see 43,000 to 43,500. Apart from the usual poster boys, which is ICICI Bank and SBI and maybe a Canada and BOB, I think some of the other underperformers are also attempting a comeback. So I would still be very, very positive on uh, uh, banks, uh, followed by autos and capital goods. Mm. Hi, Gautam. Morning. Uh... What about uh, the metals pack? You know, index has been a big underperformer. Things are rather gloomy. Uh, you believe there's more downside here? I'm not sure whether there's more downside, but I'm definitely sure that there's a lot more underperformance because uh, any index which doesn't participate while the Nifty goes up 1,200 points is clearly a red flag. And there is just too much happening globally. And it just seems as if the smart money, you know, has moved from this sector to some of the other sectors in the market, which is quite uh, uh, visible if you do ratio analysis on many sectors. So metals is a complete avoid. I think it's probably the only sector in the market which does not have a good setup. Everything else rock solid. Just a, a few names which are uh, in the mix. Uh, so Nike has cooled off a little bit. If you can pull these up uh, quickly, uh, it's up uh, 2.7. It was up five when we started. Uh, Apollo, so we highlighted Max Health, but Apollo Hospitals is another one which has joined the ranks along with Max Health from the hospital space. Uh, that's up another two, uh, that's up two and a half now. And uh, sort of in that same space, the uh, Path Lab companies, Metropolis is up 3% on decent volumes for this time of the day. And Lal Path Labs is up about three and a quarter percent as well. So these are new additions uh, which uh, one is uh, seeing. Another new age kind of company which got smashed is Delivery. Delivery is up uh, 6%, 364 uh, on uh, delivery uh, coming in uh, at, uh, at at this point in time. Gautam, uh, the one space which has done very, very well, very strong momentum is the PSU bank space. Uh, you know, in the last, what, four, five days, uh, look at names like CanBank, Bank of Baroda, Bank of India. Uh, is there a space you uh, would, uh, would like to trade uh, based on momentum, pure momentum? 
Uh, Prashant, for the last six to eight months, I've been batting very strongly for the entire PSU basket. You know, I've been saying that there is a structural change that has happened. Uh, the, in, the sector has seen a lot of relative strength in the recent market weakness. Uh, you know, uh, PSU stocks stood out beautifully and now they have come back very strongly. So we like the entire basket itself. And I think the index can appreciate anywhere between 15 to 20 percent quite easily, led by Coal India, which is our favorite. But if you look at the PSU banking space, what is interesting is that we've seen a massive breakout versus the Nifty, versus the Bank Nifty, and versus the private bank index. In fact, we put in, we are putting out all of these details in our big picture report, and we feel that this is again a structural change. And because they have been under-owned for so, so long, the room for upside is substantial. SBI clearly remains a favorite. I think it can do much bigger things going forward. And, and the other names that you alluded to, Canada Bank and BOB, also have potential. But I wouldn't go very speculative. I do, wouldn't go to the smaller two-digit names. I don't think they have so much potential. What about autos, Gautam? Because over there, there's a K-shaped recovery, right, as we call it. I mean, on one hand, the premium domestic market is doing very well, whether it's m and whether it's, uh, you know, Royal Enfield. But on the other hand, the export market continues to get hit. The rural market has not recovered in entirety. From a technical standpoint, what are the stocks that you uh, still like? Well, Sonia, since you track the auto index so closely, you would know that, you know, the breakout really happened above the level of 12,000, you know, on the auto index. That was the number which was a resistance for almost two and a half years. Once that level got cleared, you know, it just opened up blue skies for the index. And thereafter, there hasn't been any stopping it. But as you rightly pointed out, you had to work hard for returns because a hero, a Bajaj, a Tata Motors haven't done well. Whereas an Aisha Motors, a Maruti and an M&M have done beautifully, even an Ashok Leyland. And I think there is a lot more potential for, th for this set of stocks, along with Tata Motors, which is my favorite pick among the underperformers of, 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 of the recent past. So I think on an index level, our working target is 13,800. And over the medium term, we are looking at about 15,000 for the auto index. So I think this is a trend, uh, uh, you know, uh, which is here to stay. Uh, again, they have underperformed for a very long period of time. So I think I don't think the outperformance is going to end very quickly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, what, what else? What else is on your uh, uh, radar, Gautam? I mean, as trades, uh, both on the long and the short side, if there are any on the short side. Uh, Prashant, on the long side, I think we continue to like capital goods and real estate. Okay. I think capital goods will do wonders over the next one okay. year. It has been my top pick this year. Mm -hmm. And I see that index appreciating 20%. I know we are talking about LNT results, but I remain extremely bullish on LNT. And I feel it's going to be one of the best performers in the sector, in the index, uh, over the next one year. And let's not forget real estate, where I think likes of DLF, Oberoi Reality, Brigade, Prestige, all setting up well for large upside. And let's also not forget the mid caps and small caps. I think going forward, the next couple of quarters is going to belong to that segment because the Nifty is, is an elephant. It's not be, it'll not be in a position to run very hard, but mid caps and small caps after the recent consolidation are setting up beautifully. And I think the momentum is coming in there. All right, uh, Gautam, I wanted to know about the IT index or the IT stocks. You know, everyone was saying gloom and doom, valuation-wise, they're very, very expensive. Some of the com uh, commentary that came out from some of these big managers a little bit mixed as well. But the index, to be fair, if I look at it from the end of uh, September, it's given you returns of, what, 9 10% odd. You know, it's seen a phenomenal bounce, actually. Uh, what's your take on uh, this one? You know, towards the end, it did start perking up. Your take? Well, Nigel, generally people don't participate when this initial 9-10% move comes because as you rightly said, there was a lot of gloom and there was so much projection on the downside. But the fact that it did not fall and it just stayed in a range for the last eight weeks was a win for me. And I think now with the IT index sustaining above 28,500, I'm of the view that it is one of the better risk reward opportunities in the current market. The only problem is, you know, these global factors which are just too fluid at this point of time and can impact IT. But nevertheless, I think if you are in the big four and if you are in some of the other names like a Persistent or a Coforge or a Happiest Minds, which we like from a medium term standpoint, I think there is a lot of money to be made. So IT, we like as a basket. It, it might not be momentum right now, but it's definitely an investing opportunity. So you said, you started the uh, the discussion by saying that there is some resistance around this 18,000, 18,100 mark, right? But you're still quite optimistic on India, uh, at least on the Indian market. So what makes you circumspect around these levels? And what would your targets be, say, if you're looking one year out, um, same time next year, where do you see the Nifty? 
Well, I'm not too circumspect, Sonia. I think it's just that in the last one year, we've had the Nifty correct from 18,100 many times. And therefore, just about uh, every market participant will be watching that number. I just feel that there is enough evidence on the table to suggest that this time we will clear that. And once we clear that, there is no stopping till about 18,600. But if you have to really look at the bigger picture and India's outperformance in the world, I think my upside working target is 20,400. It might sound like a very big number, but in percentage terms, it's nothing special. And that's probably the reason I think this is a bottom-up market where you have to commit into mid-caps and small-caps. All right, uh, Gautam, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, with